Chris from Driver Friendly, and today we're going to see how well I know my bandmates. Well, I'm going to go ahead and guess Spock was Wandy, uh, or Andy, as he is formerly known. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess Jeremy Jr. was Jeremy, because it's pretty Jeremy-ish. Um, what was the other one? Sir Charles Barkley, I'm gonna go with Tyler on that one. Gilly, I'm gonna go with Juan. Wow! Good job! Alright. I'm Andy, driver friendly. Well, I'm going to say Beyonce is Tyler. I'm going to say Sigaros is Juan. Um Sigaros is Jeremy and the Killers is Chris. Really? What'd I miss? See, I thought about that, but the. Hello, I'm Jeremy and I play drums for Driver Friendly. Okay. Um. Well, the easy one, Kings Leon, has to be Juan. Um, Clarity by Jimmy Eat World is probably Tyler. Um, Weird Al. See, whoever wrote that, that's a bogus answer because neither Andy or Chris's favorite album was Weird Al, so that's a lie. So, Wanny's a quirky guy, so he's trying to be quirky. And he's trying to be quirky and write down Weird Al, which that is not his favorite album. And Chris, and I'm gonna go with Chris, uh, with Say Anything um, is a real boy. Because that's a great album. Well, that's uh, four for four for Jeremy here, and uh, I'm on top of the charts. So, two Arianas, a Scarlet, and a Lana. Okay. I'll go Lana, Christopher D. Walker, um, Scar Joe, hmm. probably uh, Jeremy, and Ariana Grande with the seven exclamations, Tyler, <laughs> and then Wandy with the Ariana, I think, the other one. Who is that? I think I can nail this. I think I can nail this. I'll start off with the dumbest one, which is my bandmate, Wango. <laughs> who obviously does not know how to use English properly or know how to play this game. He wrote that stupid long answer. I really apologize, people had to, I, if you're reading the text right here, I'm sorry. That, I'm sorry that an intern or somebody who works here had to type that out. So that really long one is Andy. Um, the person who answered Andy is definitely Chris, because we've been having a tour long tournament of Magic the Gathering and Chris is about to win against Andy. So it's definitely Chris. Um, okay, now the Ryan Key one makes sense Zach Chad one throws me off. Zach Chad's our tour manager. He's the he's the dad. He's the dude. We all want to play magic with him, but he won't do it. I think I think I think Juan said Ryan Key from Yellow Card. I think Jeremy said Zach Chad. Yes, yes. All right. So we had a three-way tie between myself, Jeremy, Chris, and Tyler. So <laughs> myself, Jeremy, and Chris. And uh, and the question was, what album has sold the most? Um, from Hopeless Records, our record label. So my answer, well, my answer was Avenged Sevenfold, Waking the Fallen, and I wagered four points. All right, well, I had no idea. So just for um, the sake of playing the game, like Wingo, I went with our band, Driver Friendly, wagered zero <laughs> points, still at four points. Thank you. Well, and I, uh, so I thought I knew the answer, but then I couldn't remember the album title. So I think Thrice? Question mark album, zero points. Uh, 
So uh, I just won with that answer. I'd like to say thank you to all my bandmates for not being as smart as me and letting me uh, win that one. Uh, total bait points. Congratulations. I did not cheat. I did not cheat. I did not Google search. I will show you. I pulled up the wiki page and all I said was I wanted. I was like, what was that album called? I knew it was the one with the with the skull and the wings. And it's Avenged Sevenfold, and I was like, okay, yeah, Waking the Phone, that was it. Because they just did the 10-year anniversary.